Yoda. What's up? What's going on? We're going to be setting up the MAME standalone emulator or multiple arcade machine emulator or arcade as it's well known on your modded Xbox 360 within the Aurora dashboard. Let's get started. Make sure your console is connected to the internet. Once that's done, we are going to push the back button on the controller, go down to scripts, then go down to the homebrew store. If this hasn't been installed, check my earlier videos on how to do this. Go down to emulators. Now we're gonna go scroll down to the bottom there and look for MAME. Press A on it. Select yes to download it. And give it a minute. Once it's finished downloading, it will auto install. Keep pressing the B button to exit. Press it again, go to no. Go back to the dashboard. Now we're going to refresh by hitting the guide button and then the yellow button. It will refresh the dashboard and recognize that MAME has been installed. And all you have to do is scroll to the left or right and search for it. Usually Aurora will download their box up automatically. So we're going to search for it. Here it is there, MAME, and because the file extension name is pretty horrible, it's not going to find the cover for you, so we're going to do it manually. So if you go down here, press the yellow button, go down to here, and select download cover. As you can see, there's nothing that is there. So we're going to rename this. So we go all the way down to the bottom, press A on it, and we're just going to call it MAME. Give it a capital M, more uppercase, and then lowercase on the rest, M-A-M-E. -E. Press start. When you're done, here we go. Now we can go up there to the covers and go left, and now you can find one easy. And then just press the B button to quit. And there you go, there's our box up for our MAME emulator. Now take a USB device of some sort and insert it into Xbox 360 because we're going to format it. Hit the guide button. Go right twice, go down to system settings, select yes to quit, go down to storage, scroll all the way down to the bottom to USB storage device, as it may say unformatted, just go through the motions of formatting it, it's pretty straightforward. Once that's complete, remove your USB device from your 360 and insert it into your PC. Now create a new folder within your USB device and call it ROMs. And you want to transfer all your arcade or your main ROMs over to that folder. Copy and paste. Preferably in zip format. Do not ask me where to obtain these ROMs from because I will not reply to your question. Once that's complete, eject your USB device from your PC and reinsert it into your Xbox 360. Once your console has recognized it, press the back button, go to file manager, go down to USB 0, go down to ROMs, press left on the controller, go all the way down to copy, press A, now press RB, go to HDD1, down to emulators, then we want to go into MAME, and if you scroll down you will see there's a ROMs folder, we're going to override it, press left on the controller, go down to paste, and press the A button on yes, and wait for it to transfer over. complete keep pressing the B button till you get back to the dashboard now we're going to launch the main emulator once it loads up select the game press A on it once it's finished loading you're going to have to push left right left right on some of the games in order for it to initiate on the d-pad 
The back button is credits because these are what they call coin operated games back in the day. And press start, we'll start the game. like to quit out of this game you're gonna to have to push the guide button then the yellow button and boot back to the dashboard that's it for this guide if you've learned something today please like and subscribe thanks for watching chat